What's up everyone? This is uh, Dr. Webb here and today I wanted to give you guys the five top things that I think are important uh, when applying to uh, medical school. Uh, you can also um, kind of use this for nursing school, PA school, occupational therapy school, law school. Five things that I think are important. All right, you guys are ready? So number one, uh, number one, I, I think it's important to uh, stay organized. Um, the application process can be very chaotic. There's a lot of parts to it. Your um, transcripts, your your grades, your letters of recommendation, uh, your personal statement. I think that uh, you have to stay organized. And especially when asking people to write your letter of recommendation, you have to stay on top of them. If the application is due... January 1st, for instance, is making that date up. Um, you need to tell that person that's writing your letter that is due December 1st, so that gives you a little bit of time. Uh, the way I stayed organized, this is what I did here. I created a little package, and I got it uh, spiral at uh, maybe like Home Depot. And in this package here, this is everything that I, um, my, basically my whole application. I have my essay in the front of it here. I have my uh, transcripts here of all the schools that I attended. Um, I have uh, kind of my dean's letters from college. Uh, any important things that I did in the military, I went to a leadership course, certification, so I was the EMT and also LVN before med school. Awards and accomplishments, I have it here. Um, you know, got medical technician of the year when I was in the military. Um, just notes from people who uh, congratulate me on certain things or uh, letters of appreciation. And then volunteer work at the bottom, community services I did. And I put all of these together and I got about 10 to 15 of these. And when I met people, this is what I gave them here. And the people who wrote my letters recommendation, instead of them trying to figure out, you know, what should I write about this student? What are the aspects that I strongly emphasize in my letter? This is all they had to flip through right here. And they can have this. I put the address to where I wanted them to send the letter to right on top. So that's number one, stay organized. Uh, number two is to apply early. Um, you know, most applications are on a rolling admission. So if you get your application in early, I think uh, that will kind of uh, be advantageous for you. Number three is to apply broadly. Uh, when I applied to medical school, I had to apply three times. So each Second time of applying, I applied to a lot more schools than the first time because I, I didn't want to risk my chances. And I know it's a little bit extra money, but at the end of the day, you want to uh, be comfortable with um, applying and knowing that you applied everywhere that could have possibly gave you opportunity to attend. So, uh, number four is to network. Uh, going to different medical schools, if you're in an area, if in your hometown, Go visit the medical school, talk to the admissions counselors, talk to the medical students, and just get them to know your face because if they have 15,000, I'm just throwing that number out there, uh, applications, it's going to be very hard to uh, kind of, you know, differentiate yourself from everyone else. But if you go in there and meet people, they actually, may actually pull your file. They're like, oh, okay, I met this person and he was very nice. Uh, he seems like he's interested in our school. Let's go ahead and pull his file and take a closer look at it. I wanted to um, highlight one medical student that I met at an uh, event at the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons. Uh, this is a business card that he gave me right here. Maybe you, you guys know this guy right here, but on the front he has his picture um, and his name and address. And on the back he has his research, uh, publications that he did, leadership. Very impressive. Try to have some business cards everywhere you go. You never know who you might meet, run into. You might be on a plane and run into the admissions counselor or the dean of a medical school that you're applying to. So network, get some business cards. And number five is to uh, basically sit back and, and pray. It's a very stressful process. It's a long process. Like I said, it took me a number of years before I actually got into medical school. So uh, you put in all the work, submit your application, sit back and pray, and basically never give up. I think, um, you know, if you want to be a doctor, it's a long process to be an orthopedic surgeon. It takes 13 years. Um, so it's a long process, and you have to basically take it day by, by, day by day. I always tell people that it's a marathon, not a race. So, so starting from your medical school application, um, you put on all the work, 
And then uh, I'm pretty sure you guys will all reap the benefits. So those are the five top things that I think are important when applying to medical school. Number one is stay organized. Number two is apply early. Uh, number three is apply broadly. Number four is network. And number five is to um, basically sit back and pray and and um, and just hope for the best. Uh, good luck, guys. If you have any more questions, you can email me at overcomingtheoddsbook at gmail.com or you can visit my website, AntonioWebMD.com. See you next time.